everyone, I'm Cassie and I'm Callie and today we are going to talk to you about saving paper and getting you out of that copy room. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I'm going to start us off by uh, reading an email that Cassie received and this whole video and her blog post today is about digitizing work. So this email is a frantic email. Cry for help. <laughs> you might be feeling the same way. So yeah. listen, listen. It says, hello Cassie. Our school is very, very restrictive on the amount of paper we print out. I'm a brand new teacher and it is stressful enough with everything in place. With all these restrictions, it is driving me insane. I want to be able to assign digitally to my students as much as possible. Please help. I bought the fourth grade math teaks bundle. Thank you. <laughs> so the fourth grade math teaks bundle is like 2000 pages <laughs> if you were to print it out, but that's the catch. If you were to print it out, I'm a huge, person I, I'm not a huge <laughs> I have a huge see, heart I do but I <laughs> I'm big on uh digitizing lessons and digitizing work because it saves so much paper and it honestly saves time in the long run and we had such a great experience because we were able to teach in a one-to-one -one. Mm -hmm. so we were expected to use a lot of digital resources so we learned kind of some tricks that we can share with you today yep and you don't have to be one-to-one -to, -one to digitize by the way. No, absolutely yeah. not. So this is one of our third grade kits. Um, keep in mind that this email, she bought the whole fourth grade bundle. So this, I don't know if you can see this, but there are tons of pages and she bought, she bought 40, 40 of, of these, these kits. Yes. So <laughs> it is a little overwhelming to look at, but it has literally everything you need. And you don't have to print everything out on paper. There are tons of ways that you can digitize this. So we're going to talk about, I mean, how exactly we, how we would like to digitize it and you help me out here. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to get you started. So I don't know if you have heard about the SAMR method of technology integration and it's, it's a model that has um, tiers and it starts with the lower level, which is substitution. And as it moves up, you either modify your lesson, you can uh, augment your lesson, or you can totally redefine your lesson using technology. Now technology gurus, they want you to stay at the top of mm -hmm. the model because that's where you, the kids get the most out of the technology, but there's absolutely nothing wrong either with the bottom, which is substitution. Right, so this whole blog post that we're talking about it is for all different levels. It can be for the beginner, probably like the one who sent you the email. She would probably be on the bottom level, mm -hmm. which is totally okay. But this is a blog post for beginners all the way up to advanced. Yeah, and how much time you have, because the, the, the more you redefine a lesson through technology, the longer it's gonna take you to do that. If you just straight do a substitution, it's simply a matter of creating a digital mm -hmm. copy of your worksheet and sharing that digital copy with the kids. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show you this week's blog post and um, it's all about seven different ways that you can digitize your worksheets. And it will walk you through um, from the, the bottom level, the bottom easiest level to implement and all the way up to the more meaningful technology integrations. Also, you get um, a free starter file. Mm -hmm. And this starter file has all of the things that you need to use these seven strategies in your classroom so today. So it's like templates, right? Yes. That you can uh -huh. And offer. there's 26 pages of templates and those templates can be used in the seven different strategies. And you can edit the templates too. Yep. And it even, you know, has a game board as one of the strategies. And so not only that, but the blog post itself has videos that you can watch to show you exactly how to use the starter file. Yeah, people pay to do this kind of stuff and Cass is giving it away for free. So take advantage of it. Yeah, so we really, we love technology. Oh yes. We know that technology can literally change the way your class runs and the way you teach. And we believe in our Teeks kits and, and know that if the amount of paper is holding you back from being the teacher you want to be and using assessments and using exit tickets mm -hmm. and practices and all of the things that you know are good for your students. If the amount of copies you're able to make is holding you back from using good resources, then you got to find a way to oh, overcome. Yeah. I probably, I mean, just looking at this Teeks kit, 
if I were in the classroom, I already know exactly how I would want to change things and substitute things and just, I don't know. It makes me excited because I really love technology and the and kids have fun with it too. Yeah. And you don't have to do everything with technology. Like I'd probably use one of these quizzes on paper or something like that. But, um, the kids get really involved whenever technology is involved and I think it's great. And that's the world that we live in these days. It's mm -hmm. just, and technology yeah. is too, is great to allow students to work together. So yeah. you have other 21st century mm -hmm. skills yep. as well. Exactly. So you definitely don't want to miss this week's because we have everything to get you started with technology integration in your class. And as we're talking about what you're, you know, something to look forward to, Next week's blog is going to be all about getting your kids used to using that technology That's and the teaching best part. them. That's my favorite. <laughs> teaching them how to like use, use shortcuts and mm -hmm. use Google Slides to to work. So we have a couple of great stuff coming oh, yeah. up for you. Lots of good freebies. So stay tuned. If you have a question or an email, send it send to it us. Yeah. I mean, this was. I mean, it helps whenever we hear or see what you guys need help with because it gives us ideas on what to create for you guys to help yeah. you guys. So. Your email might be the next one oh, we yeah. talk about <laughs> the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Have a great night.